just gonna drive by the lot. There was another shipment that came in and yep, it looks like that shipment is there. I just saw a truck in there and the crane is getting the track pieces off of the truck. junkies out there we're right up here we're ready to go we're here for another phoenix rising update and general park update security freeze check-in freeze but then again we were like second or third in line so and uh iron Wazi, our first run it's now 20 after and now it has a 15 minute wait but when we got on there was no wait Five minutes. Five minutes. Basically a walk-on though, right? Yep. Even with the kids here from uh, uh, Southland Christian School, which is uh, right here in Kissimmee. Well, not here in Kissimmee, but in Kissimmee, here in Florida. Um, it's a federal crime, so keep your distance miles from a car. Um, if any alligator is deemed a nuisance, they will be pulled and destroyed, and you never want that to happen. Um, so always admire them from a distance in the wild and in managed care. Um, that's all for me today. But did you guys have any questions or anything like that? The lifespan of a uh, American alligator is actually a trick question. We're not quite sure. Um, so we got um, some back deemed nuisance alligators back in the 50s. Um, these guys, we thought maybe they could live 20, 30 years old. Um, now they're in their 30s, 40s. And then we do have a big guy in the back that's 80 years old. So they just keep going. Well, we were going to go into the Miami Reserve, but they have this portion closed. So we have to go through the Nairobi pathway. One cheat over there. Oh, and there's another one over there. Not that you can see. Uh, yeah, there's somebody in there. I see one of them in there. Mm. Hanging out on the other side of the catwalk there. Now, I, I see the Serengeti Flyer moving over there. But that don't mean... That does fly. not mean if it's open or not. Now, I do know that they got new lap bars. Yeah, and some people are already complain about it because they don't like the color. Really? Yep. Well, so we're going to go by the Serengeti Flyer and check out the new colors of the lap bar. And chances are, yeah, it's all blocked off here, so the Serengeti Flyer is not running. So they're just doing test runs. Yeah, 
idea, but they're only running one side. Well, that's probably how they're doing the test runs. They're testing one side at a time. That's the side that they had the most problems with, I think. They're green. Yeah, actually, I like the green colors. It matches the big long bars that are attached to them. Yeah, all right. I think it's better than the purple ones. Then we got the elephant over here. See a couple of them in the back. And now we're coming up to Phoenix Rising. So have they put up any more supports or any more track? And uh, no, it just looks like footers over here. And they have the track over there. Yeah, just footers, no track. her in there and now we're gonna catch another angle a Phoenix rising and so far they have the station track and the brake track in. that's it hey <laughs> And we definitely saw Falcon's Fury running. Mm -hmm. So we are going to get you a bird's eye view of this today. With track in place. Just a quick update. The log flume still doesn't have water, but it looks a whole bunch cleaner. And I see no tigers over there. Nope, no tigers over there. But, oh, just missed a good glimpse right between there. We're gonna go up. Ah, we'll catch a train later. Good angle. Yes. Now we can take a look at the train coming up behind us. Beyond the trees.
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You too. Oh, and we're going to have the train pass right in front of us. Hardly anybody on the train. Mm -hmm. And now they're running both sides of the Serengeti Flyer. Currently, the Serengeti Flyer is under annual maintenance. It is one year old. Well, it was one year old about a couple of weeks ago, three weeks ago. So now we are just doing regular annual maintenance. And I guess they're doing testing. They had to make sure all the bolts are nice and tight. They replaced all the lap bars. And now they're just cycling it. Can't wait to see what they do with that area back there. I know they're gonna do something with it. Huh? And it looks like the Nyalas are over here, hiding in the shade. All those Nihalas. Hi. Hi there. They really like this area. And over there too. Now let's see if we got any other hippos out. You have no people to play Marco Polo with. Hmm. Coming up to the hippos. There's a crane in there. moved. I don't see the hippo anymore. Alright, now we're coming back up to the station. And time to wrap it up. Oh no. Okay, well, the wait time on Cobra's Curse was just 30 minutes. Now it says zero, zero, zero. Uh, I'm gonna have to say today, the crowds are kind of light. Wait times haven't been too bad today. We did notice three school buses and three coaches out in the parking lot. So there is a couple of group of kids here. But uh, the best thing is, make it quick because spring break is soon around the corner and this place is going to get packed. Love them screams. 
you know, just got off of Montu and while we were riding Montu, we caught a glimpse of the parking lot. Preferred parking, let's just say it's practically empty. General parking, a quarter full, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe a third full. Um, other than that, not that bad. Saw three coaches, three school buses, so the field trips aren't that bad today. Skyride is in operation. Doesn't look like that long of a wait for the Skyride. Keep in mind, if you are a pass holder, including the fun card, you get to ride the Skyride for free. If you just have a day ticket, it will cost you five dollars each way. Break tail, meerkat. Yeah, did you see a fire? Oh, I see it. Is that a lever? Retail, whatever. Okay. Wow. I got a few of them in there. Some of them are just hanging out right here. And one is up there, along with a whole bunch of duckies. Got yourself a treat, I see. Hey, there's my campsite. Let's see. Oh, looks like we got a hippo in here. Where'd he go? Oh. No. That looks like Ida. Oh, there's two of them. There's two of them in there, so that's... Kita and her mom. Yeah, there's Kita with the kink tail. And her mom was over there somewhere. Hi girls. Check out the gazelles over here. And I don't see the cranes. Unless that's it way back there. As we noted before, the uh, Serengeti Flyer is currently going under annual maintenance. We saw the new restraints that they put on when we were on the sky ride. And we also saw them testing it. It's also so nice to see the sky ride actually running again. 
Yeah, all the elephants. Oh, there's one. I was gonna say, all the elephants are hidden. Right, we got one out front here. Oh, and two. One way over there. By the view, you probably already guessed it. We are on Falcon's Fury for another Phoenix Rising construction update. Let's get that great bird's eye view, won't we? And look at that, we have, oh, looks like a couple of pieces of track in place already. Oh, what in the world are they doing over here? Oh, it looks like that's going to be where the station's going. No, the station's over there. This is just a turnaround. Where it's probably going to go real low. Because that those are footers. Spots for more footers. Oh, okay, okay. And it looks like they might be building a wall. Who knows, maybe a little bit of water might go down in there. A little water effect. Mm -hmm. And there's the money shot. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I love that. Oh, so good. Yay! So count them, six rides, Iron Gwazi, Cheetah Hunt, Sky Ride, Cobra's Curse, Montu, and Falcon's Fury, all before lunchtime. Good luck next week in trying to pull that one off. Now on to, uh, from Pantopia, we're gonna head on to Jangala and go into, take a ride on Kumba. Well, she won't. I will. I, I still give Kumba some love. It it's old, but I still like it. And then, on to Stanleyville with Tigris and Shikra. Who knows how many rides we can get in before the day is done.
Is it really? <laughs> Hi there. Hi. Oh, look at this nice and up close. Hi there. And you're not even paying attention. You're beautiful. Hi, gorgeous. <laughs> oh boy, and she's looking good for being pregnant. Hi, Joy. You gonna come and see us, Joy? Come on, Joy. Hi, Joy. Oh my God. Oh my. Hi. How are you doing, Joy? Hi. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Baby, so what does she do? Uh, we don't know. We don't have an official date yet, but we do know she's pregnant. And what's her name? Joy. 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 Oh. oh my God. Oh, so she's your friend, huh? Yeah. Yeah. She's pretty friendly. She was pretty Hi. Friendly. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Go find out while she's pregnant. Yeah, her last baby we lost. Oh, I had, had, had a problem with its heart or something. Oh, you got a whole bunch of new friends here, Joy. How many orangutans are there here? There is water in the log flume. After all that cleaning out. The water got really dirty again. But it looks like they are actually testing the log flume. So the log flume must be coming out of its annual maintenance. It's just going under testing. They probably won't open it up until maybe next weekend. Sesame Street Safari of Fun. And the only reason why we're coming in here is for Air Grover. We're gonna park right over here. Oh, and there's Big Bird. Big Bird. Hi, Big Bird. You guys want to come on in and take a picture and say hello? Yeah. Okay, hold on. We're going to put this over here. Can you guys guess what time it is? That's right. It's pink chicken time.
I like geese. Since our last visit, Walkabout Way has reopened. It actually reopened a couple of days after our last visit. So, let's go check it out. Hello guys! They look so comfortable in there. They really spruced up the place. They put some uh, things around the trees. So they can't uh, destroy the trees. And it looks like they got some new signage up. Now over here they have the sign that shows a red-necked wallaby, a common wallaroo, and a tamar wallaby. And then over here on the other side, we have the red kangaroo, the eastern gray kangaroo, and the western gray kangaroo. Aren't they cute? Oh, and we can't forget our black swans. I think that one has a baby. Yeah, I think that one has a baby. <laughs> She's very pregnant. <laughs> She's very pregnant. Yeah, I think she was uh, cleaning the baby uh, okay. before she had her whole nose in her pouch. Yeah, one of them 
escaped, I think, last week. Uh oh. Yeah. There's a police helicopter out and everything. <laughs> Oh look, yeah. So yeah, they closed off this little section here. And they close that off so that way they have a viewing area over here. Which is so cool. Only problem is viewing area is only good when there's kangaroos over here. <laughs> but today all the kangaroos are over there. Also, quick little update. Mardi Gras is over and done with. Yay! Now we're looking for the Food and Wine Festival. Sneak peek. Over here, looks like they're gonna be Italy. Ooh, let's go over here and check out this sign. See what they got for Italy. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right. Guys, I'm not gonna even try to pronounce some of these, <laughs> but we got a a, a Putin a Putiniska fuzili, a traditional Naples dish, kalamata olives, capers, tomato, simmered with herbs, served over spiral pasta, and this one's the easy one: the chicken marsala, pan seared chicken and sauteed mushrooms deglazed with marsala wine served on a bed of braised spinach and onions. And then of course, for dessert, you have the chocolate chip cannoli. They have some other things here. Uh, looks like drinks. Yeah, some drinks on the bottom. And that is for Italy. Now over here, right in front of the Coke Pavilion, we have France with a cassoulet, slow cooked white beans, vegetables, and cured bacon, finished with fresh herbs, derived from its name from the cooking pot it's prepared in. And then, of course, we have ratatouille and a vanilla cream puff along with some drinks from France. Booth number 15 comes straight from the United States. And at the top of the list, I am so glad to see this, we have a lobster roll, a New England favorite chilled poached lobster, tossed in mayonnaise, dill shaved celery, served on a soft potato roll. And then we also have crab cakes, jumbo lump crab, mayonnaise, mustard, and Old Bay seasoning seared to a golden brown accompanied with mustard sauce. And of course some local drinks. Right across the way, we have some desserts. Yummy, Yummy okay. We have a strawberry shortcake and a apple pie a la mode. Boy, I'm getting hungry for a food and wine festival already. And here's a map for the food and wine festival. It looks like they're gonna open up the pathway there and have some uh, stuff from South Africa and some stuff from Argentina and Chile and New Zealand and Australia. So I'm sure that place is not gonna be opened up. We're gonna go over here though and check out Spain. See what Spain has to offer. Albany Gas. 
chicken saffron rice and churros. And of course, some moonshine tasting. And that will be coming up very soon. We have on here March 9th to May 19th for the Food and Wine Festival. Then we have the Bush Gardens Conservation Fund weekend, April 20 to the 22nd. We can't forget Cinco de Mayo, May 4th and 5th. Red, white, and brews. That looks like something new. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday is from May 24th to July 7th. And then, of course, we have summer nights, May 24th to August 4th. Giraffe Celebration Weekend, June 21st to the 23rd. Oh, this looks good. Bourbon and barbecue. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday is July 19th. This is sep September 2nd. And then also, time to get your fears on with Bush Gardens Hallow Scream from September 6th to November 3rd. Keep in mind that is a separate ticketed event. And also for the kitties, the Bush Gardens Spooktacular from September 7th to November 3rd. And finally, Christmas Town, November 15th to January 5th. Phoenix Rising, spring of 2024. And by the looks of it, it may be really late spring. We're talking possibly middle of June. Well, another wonderful day here at Bush Gardens. And I sure hope you stuck around with us for the day. Had some good aerial shots of Phoenix Rising. Nice construction update. So uh, we got to see a few things, a few of the booths for the uh, Food and Wine Festival. And it looks like there's a media group uh, a media VIP special event for that. So hope they have fun and I hope they enjoy the food. And we're gonna try it out next week. So that's it for us. And uh, well, see you next time on the rides. See ya.